Hi there and Assalamu Alaikum. In today's video we'll learn how to create a postcard in Adobe InDesign. So let's get started. Let's click on create new and then select the print tab. I'll change the units to inches and uh, let's change the width to 4.25 inches and uh, height to 6 inches. I think it's a perfect small postcard size. We'll also need two pages for both front and back and I don't really want it to have facing pages as it's a postcard and not a book. So let me uncheck the facing pages option. Uh, I also want to add a print bleed of 0.125 inch so our design can print to the very edge of the postcard and lastly I'll name it postcards demo and hit create. Now I'll need to import an image from my computer to be used as the background image so let's go to file and then place and locate the image from my computer and then I'll place it here. Once our image is here right click on it and go to fitting and then select the fit frame proportionately option and uh, your image and frame shall adjust automatically. Now grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle in the center of the page and from the toolbar above change the fill to white and stroke to none. Now grab the text tool from the toolbar on the left and make a text box and type the text uh, so I'm going to type a painting gallery 2021. And then I'm going to right align it using the right align option on the toolbar above and change the font to lobster. You can change it to any other font of your choice but since it's a painting gallery I don't really want to use a very serious font here. And I think I'll change the font size to 18 and I guess instead of three lines I'd rather put painting gallery on one line and uh, 2021 can go to the next. And then I'm going to make a copy of this by holding option on a Mac or alt on a PC and clicking and dragging it to the left. And I am going to left align this one and uh, change the text to ABC Art Studio Chicago. I don't know why I chose this name and city. Uh, and I'll also change the font to something else. So let's change it to Poppins. I think Poppins should be good. So Poppins light is good. And uh, let's reduce the font size to something smaller. And uh, also make ABC Art Studio bold. Finally, center align this to the text on the right and our front design of the postcard is ready. Just press W to view it without the guides and borders. Okay, it's time to move to the back page of the postcard, so let's move to page 2. And since the back page is usually designed in the landscape mode, let's flip the page as well by going to the Pages panel. Select page 2 and right click to go to Page Attributes and then rotate Spread View and select 90 degrees clockwise. Now we need to have the same image as the background image for this page as well. So just copy the image from page 1 by hitting Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC and paste it on page 2 by hitting Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC. Now grab the rectangle tool from the left and make a big rectangle on top of the background image leaving some space on all the corners to reveal the background design. Change the fill of this rectangle to white and stroke to none. Center align this rectangle to the background. Hit W to check how it looks in the actual print and I think it looks the way we want it to look. So let's add some content to this one as well. Let's click on the rectangle and drag a guide from the ruler on the left to insert right in the center of the rectangle. This is where we'll be inserting a line which will act as a divider between the title and the address. Now instead of making a text box for the title, I'd rather just copy it from page 1 and paste it here. So let's do that. 
and since the title inserted itself vertically, I'll hold shift and using my arrow, I'll rotate it from the right corner. Now let's place it to the top left. We don't really need to change the size of it. I think this looks pretty all right. All we need to do is left align it and let's place it to the left. Perfect. Now, using the rectangle tool, let's make a small rectangle for the stamp on the top right and make it the right size and align it properly so that it is parallel to the title on the left. Now, using the line tool, I'm going to make a few lines for dress. And I think I need to lower the stroke weight for both the lines and the rectangle, so I'll change it to 0.5 perhaps. Let's hit W to see how it looks. I think I need to change the alignment a bit. Rest everything looks perfect and maybe the divider line should also be extended a little further. So let's do some final adjustments to make it look better. All right, we're done. Let's just rotate the first page so that you have a clearer view of both the front and the back page of the postcard. And uh, I like it. What do you think? That's the front of the postcard and that's the back of it. What do you think about it? Alright, so that's where we end today. I hope you've learned something new from this video and have enjoyed it as well. I'm going to see you in the next one pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.